Hey guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to replace the front left drive shaft on a F30 2019 320 diesel. It should be the same procedure for the G20 model since this is a 2019 car. The drive shaft failed at 100,000 kilometers. So let's check it out! First thing to do remove the bottom shield 8 millimeter bolts second thing remove the wheel and remove the wheel fender liner inner liner there is many 8 millimeter bolts three 10 millimeter nuts and some plastic clips that hold this piece of plastic in place simply push into these holes and they should release so I press this internal pieces inside and now we can remove these clips so here's how those clips look like Remember when you push them in you will probably they will fall into into the inside here So try to find it otherwise buy some new clips before you do the job So you don't put everything together In a non-professional way So next thing you want to do Remove this center bolt that, that holds the drive shaft in place. Watch out for that spring. You don't want to lose this. Put it aside. So with the newer model, you don't need to remove the brake disc because the drive shaft should be removed without any trouble. You simply need to remove the lower control arm and this level sensor so now you want to remove this clip that's attached to the lower control arm you can simply pry it with a flat blade screwdriver and push apart and it should remove very easily please do not pry on the outer plastic side you easily can break this those sensors can be pretty expensive so watch out for it guys and girls so now we want to remove the bolt that holds the lower control arm in place I like to lubricate that bolts so that they release easier now using the 18 millimeter socket loosen the lower control arm Still not enough room we have to remove this front lower control arm as well this is also 18 millimeter socket simply remove the bolt here you go now we got plenty of space to work okay so the drive shaft should now be free we are gonna remove it from the back side we have some cable here for the ABS sensor we don't want to break that so we just push the wheel hub assembly away and here it is the drive shaft is out fairly simple pretty much simpler than the older models next thing you want to do uh, leave the cat out okay here you go next step to gain access we need to remove this lower shield 
there's 10 13 millimeter bolts that hold it in place and you need to remove some 8 millimeter bolts that hold the black back plastic as well so you can gain access to the corner ones now what you want to do is get the drive shaft out of the transmission differential if you can you can pry it or you can put something here a flat blade screwdriver driver and gently tap it out with a hammer so it releases maybe if you have problems rotate a little and do it again what i'm gonna do is take a zip tie and tie this lever, level sensor since i'm alone here i will put a zip tie around here so i don't break anything you don't want to make more damage than you earn okay so let's find something okay put the zip tie inside here we go now you're safe to proceed so I use a big flat blade screwdriver and gently pry it out it should go fairly easily Is these are the new cars for now in 2020 pry it out get some oil catching pan underneath so you don't spill everything and make a mess and you should get the drive shaft out okay so the drive shaft is out make sure you when you remove it be careful to horizontally move it out because you have some oil seals here you don't want to damage those if you damage the oil is gonna leak so be careful okay okay so what we're gonna do now is check if everything is perfect i have a new brand new complete drive shaft from Spidan GKN I have very good experiences with those they are very reliable and OEM parts for many brands don't know if they are OEM for BMW but I know that they are for VW, Audi, Porsche excellent brand from GKN so we check the teeth we check the diameters we visually check for any differences double check we want to make this perfect so since we're already here we're gonna change the differential fluid we have a drain plug here and we have a fill plug here next right next to the hole for the drive shaft so remove this bolt take some pan so you can measure how much fluid was inside so we have a 14 millimeter hex put something underneath remove this bolt it was not really very tight 30 newton meters okay inspect the plug okay not so bad
wait so it comes out completely. I drained approximately 410 milliliters of old dirty fluid. Replace the plug with the new one. Loosen the fill plug and fill with fresh oil till it starts dripping from the fill plug. It will be around 500 milliliters, 450-500. So, for the differential fluid, I use Ravenol 75W140. You, it's not the cheapest but I find it's a great quality oil so I use products that I can trust and I think that's the shit man thank you very much so thanks for watching if you like this video like subscribe comment below I hope you found some nice information and I hope you did some great job Thank you very much. Peace.